The 2023 elections are upon us. And with Nigerians facing a myriad of issues ranging from security to the scarcity of the new Naira notes, the question is, what exactly is going to be the outcome of these elections? My name is Oyari and I'm here at Transcore Hilton to witness Africa's leading society organization code unleash a unique electoral intelligence tool and pre-election assessment security report. This is in fulfillment to its responsibilities for a free and fair and transparent election. Connected Development is Africa's leading civil society organization that uh, provide access to information to rural communities while holding government to account using our social accountability movement called Follow the Money. It's important to have a platform like this one that is um, digital so it can have a nationwide global coverage, um, access to information, access to resources globally and more importantly because it is being powered by about 20,000 on ground observers across the country that is power because um, that is the power of um, eyewitness there are always a lot of uh, you know fake informations on election day so platform like with bay will serve as a you know fact checking uh, you know center for all of us uh, uh, the news uh, organizations, the media can make use of this to fact check whatever uh, you know uh, they are going to be uh, f having as information from the feed. Currency has nothing to do with elections. What I mean by this is that um, election period, everyone. Um, is meant to vote close to wherever they live and so technically you're just taking a walk or a stroll to wherever you're voting so it's not as if you have to take a cab or pay to but I do know that people who are unhappy with the situation might decide not to vote because the currency um, scarcity has affected their finances one way or the other. I'm afraid that if people are desperately hungry or lacking cash, people that have few cash could also take advantage because politicians have a, a they could naturally, you know, have access to cash. So the little they have, they will now deploy it to the people that are desperate and then get to do the same thing that they would have done with a lot of cash. The only fear I have is like the political approach to some of these issues might be quite tough. Um, so some people take it personal on their candidates. Um, if they don't, if we, it's more like a do, a do or die affair. Um, election is war, but that conversation is ongoing to see that people are well, um, well, well informed on their approaches to the election and the role they have to play at their polling units. On election day there's so much going on and everybody wants to be kept abreast of the happenings on ground without necessarily having to be in the vicinity of it so I think Uzafe is doing such great work to make sure that those gaps are plugged and people are kept up the system and I think it does a great job for post-election monitoring and evaluation
Connected Development, in collaboration with other civil society organizations, have decided to collaborate on the election coverage and reportage. Now, this is giving us hope that this year's 2023 elections is not just going to be left for chance, but it's going to be credible, transparent, and secure.